when I introduce myself, uh, uh, I'm anti-nuclear. Uh, but not I'm anti-nuclear, I'm anti-reprocessing, <laughs> but not oppose the nuclear energy itself. Anyway, I was a so-called uh, uh, plutonium uh, hater, then now I became a plutonium warrior. <laughs> so I always <laughs> oppose the reprocessing, including uh, fire processing. I'm, I'm, I may be only one South Korean you know, expert uh, who opposed the uh, pipe processing in South Korea. Anyway, uh, uh, thanks to uh, President Moon Jae-in, I was uh, spending one year as a chairman of a Nuclear Safety and Security Commission in South Korea. It's uh, uh, a counterpart to US, US NRC. Uh, now I became a free man uh, to be a consultant to uh, NRDC and Princeton uh, uh, on nuclear fuel cycle issues. Uh, about the, you know, uh, the handy question on if uh, Pyongyang attack South Korea's nuclear plant, are you ready or? I, I, I thought that the cons uh, sinkable result would be the, the spent fuel full fire. This would be the disaster uh, accident that has not been uh, occurred yet. But if occurred, it would be really disaster. It, it, uh, you know, more than uh, 100 times than Chernobyl or Fukushima. So I will talk about that issue. Uh, in South Korea, we have uh, four nuclear power plant sites, uh, three along the East Coast, uh, Hanul Uljin, uh, Walsung, and Gori, uh, and the one uh, uh, Hanbi Yongwang in West Coast. In West Coast, six uh, nuclear power plants are pit blast in operation. In, in, in uh, East Coast, the Hanul Ulchin has uh, six uh, nuclear power plants in operation and two reactors in, under construction. Uh, in Walsung site, four candle reactors and uh, one uh, pit bars in operation and one uh, pit bar, uh, two pit bars in uh, 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 yes, two pit bars in operation in Walsung. And uh, especially in Kori uh, site, it's near Busan. It's a, a very populated uh, area. It's uh, 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 five reactors, feed bars in operation, four reactors under construction, one uh, old uh, feed bar shut down. So this area is a very populated area, and uh, you know, uh, population within 30 kilometer is more than three million people. So this uh, shows the typical uh, pressurized water reactors. It's a uh, you know, containment building is you know, a steel line, the reinforced uh, concrete uh, building. Uh, in the uh, containment building, uh, there is a reactor vessel inside. And uh, uh, next to the uh, containment building, there is a normal uh, concrete building. It is not steel line, the reinforced uh, just a normal concrete building that contains the uh, spent fuel food is next to uh, uh, containment building. Yeah. Uh, are, uh, cooling system, is, uh, uh, this figure shows the Pitbull cooling system. You see the reactor core is uh, you know, uh, cooled by uh, coolant uh, and uh, many uh, numbers of uh, pipes. You know, without cooling, you know, the reactor would be. Uh, uh, so the cooling system is uh, so complicated and very important, and also it's vulnerable to uh, um, uh, physical attack. Next, also spent fuel pool is uh, uh, should be cooled to you know uh, uh, keep the temperature uh, of spent fuel. So it you know the, the cooling pump is uh, constantly. Uh, moving. So if there is a, a pump uh, break or a you know, uh, breakout, there would be a big problem on this spent uh, pool. So what if North Korea attacks North, South Korea's nuclear power uh, plant by missile, you know, the recent uh, total uh, 
the North Korea runs. And the, I assume that the, the, you know, they, they might launch a you know, number of missiles to uh, South Korean nuclear power plant. But one of them, if it hit a uh, nuclear power plant, what, what would happen? <coughs> it would lead to the reactor core meltdown and the was spent to a pool fire by drainage and the evaporation of uh, cooling water by a failure of uh, cooling system pumps or uh, whatever. The hazard of spent fuel is that, you know, it, uh, in the core or, you know, in the spent fuel, the uh, Chernobyl accident and Fukushima accident, this is because of the loss of cooling, the, it uh, leads to melting of the spent fuel, and then, you know, the release of radioactive material contained in the spent fuel to the atmosphere. This is basic uh, common idea. So spent fuel contains the high-level radioactive nuclei, especially cesium-137 uh, with a 30-year half life. This is a major uh, potent land contaminant because it's a uh, total decay, barium-137 uh, emits uh, penetrating gamma rays. So this cesium-137 has forced the, the long-term relocation of population from large area by the Chernobyl accident and the Fukushima accident. In the Chernobyl accident, about 80 uh, petabattles were released from the reactor. Uh, how much, you know, 80 petabattles means? One ton of spent fuel, pitwell spent fuel, contains uh, uh, four petabattles of uh, cesium-137. One ton. You know, usually one gigawatt of PWR release uh, annually 20 tons of spent fuel annually. So it contains 20 tons of PWR spent fuel contains 80 petabacter of cesium uh, 137, exactly the same amount that the Chernobyl uh, release. So every one PWR gigawatt reactor uh, release spent fuel that contains you know the same. Uh, amount of uh, CG-137 that uh, released from the Chernobyl accident. Yeah. Then, you know, there is a zirconium fire. If no cooling and the water uh, comes down to the spent fuel in the pool, then the fuel heat up you know, to the temperature over 1,000 Celsius degree. Then, above this temperature, there is, you know, a uh, some uh, chemical accident happen between uh, zirconium, uh, uh, zirconium cladding and uh, water. Yeah. So the, the, there is uh, this is so called uh, what is it? Exothermic uh, chemical reaction happen. Yeah. So the, the heat released during this accident. So the the core uh, spent fuel is a meltdown in the pool or in the core. And at the same time, the, the water is, uh, uh, in the water, the hydrogen is released during this process. So hydrogen, hydrogen comes out and uh, accumulated and exploded like uh, Fukushima. Right? So it's uh, very you know, important uh, to cool, you know, cool down the spent fuel. Pitwell spent fuel in cores of nuclear power plant and the pool showed it, uh, the table showed it. In, in South Korea reactor, core one, two, three, four, like this, and you know, the spent fuel contained in the core is less than 100 tons. It, it depends on the, the power level. But spent fuel in the pool is, you know, for example, one gigawatt reactor released 20 tons, so for example, 10 years, then it would uh, 200 uh, tons of spent fuel in the core. If it operates 20 years, then it uh, contains 400 tons of spent fuel contained in the pool. Uh, at the moment, the uh, uh, is Unit 3 is uh, more than you know, uh, 900, something like that, because the, uh, some uh, spent fuel released from Core Unit 1 and 2 were moved to uh, Core 3 
uh, thank you for anyway. This is uh, 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 the largest uh, uh, one of the largest the spent fuel pool in the core in South Korea. So uh, uh, thanks to uh, Dr. Uh, Michael Schaffner, uh, who was a PhD, uh, who was a postdoc of uh, Professor Frank Van Hippel, uh, did a calculation on this uh, uh, strain pool profile using a uh, diffusion code, so-called hyper split code. So we assumed that uh, the time happened in this uh, hypothetical uh, accident in 2015. And the amount of spent fuel in the pool is just one two-third of our current uh, amount of spent fuel. It's just uh, 600 tons. So calculated the CG 137 contained in the spent fuel, and uh, we thought that 75% uh, of contained CG 137 would be released during the, this uh, fire if it happened. This was based on US NRC uh, uh, report. And then we actually used the actual date weather data in 2015. Yeah. Then this uh, figure shows the result of you know, uh, the accident. In the first one is uh, uh, January 1st, 2015. You, uh, for the benefit of the art of seeing, um, could you perhaps use your finger at least to indicate where Japan and Korea are? Oh, yeah. Korea, Japan. This is a uh, Korean side. So, it, you know, in 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 winter time, the wind direction is from China to Japan. But in in summer time, you know, it's uh, opposite direction. So, this is uh, if this hypothetical accident happened in January first, two thousand fifteen. This shows the result. The orange uh, area is a voluntary uh, relocation area. The orange line, uh, orange uh, area shows the compulsory uh, relocation. The red line, uh, red area shows the, the, the three times you know, uh, of uh, compulsory uh, area rebel. This is uh, January 1st, this is April 1st, this is, this is the September 1st. <laughs> So you see that. So I, I think the North Korea might, uh, you know, avert, <laughs> avoid the attacking uh, Kori in in every position. <laughs> completely, uh, they would, you know, get the damage. So this is the result of a spent fuel fire of Kori Unit Three using high 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 split code. This is uh, uh, the Michael Schaffner did all the calculation uh, each month, and we we averaged uh, the result. And uh, the average relocated population in South Korea is uh, more than four million average. The maximum is uh, twenty one million. The Japan case is interesting. It's greater than South Korea. <laughs> yeah, seven point and almost eight million people. Would be uh, should be relocated. At the average, the maximum is you know twenty seven million people, something like this. And the uh, interdicted area in South Korea is the maximum is uh, uh, fifty one thousand uh, square kilometer. This is almost a half of South Korean uh, uh, territory. Okay then. If this is a uh, figure shows if what if you know. This accident happened in America. This calculation was done by <coughs> Professor Frank Van Nippel and also Dr. Uh, Michael Schaffner. This is uh, uh, about the Suri uh, PWR power plant. It con they assumed that it contains 400 uh, spent fuel in the pool. If, actually, if this accident happened in, in February, 2000, February 1st, 2015, you, the, you know, that figure shows the result. The April and also September one. You see the if it happened in February the first, two thousand fifteen. You see Washington D.C. and Baltimore and New York. You know should be evacuated. So the 
the calculation uh, result shows that 8 million average relocated, 8 million average, and uh, 2 trillion US dollars economic loss. U.S. NRC estimated the release would be 100 if fuel transferred to dry cask after five years, but did not require because of uh, 50 million cost per pool. This is true. <laughs> Conclusion. Uh, there are no measures uh, against the North Korean missile attack, South Korean nuclear power plant, as far as I know. Uh, North Korean missile attack, South Korean nuclear power plant, could lead to the re core meltdown and or spent to full fire by drainage and or evaporation of cooling water by a failure of cooling uh, pumps or blackout. Uh, the case of hypothetical spent fuel full fire of Kori 3 unit shows that a spent fuel full fire in the region could have a major impact in adjoining uh, countries. Thank you.